The maguey is a plant that conserves ancestral Mexican traditions. Through the extraction of its liquid, it offers a trip to the past. Mientras el maguey está creciendo, está captando, repito, todos los elementos que necesita para su, para su reproducción. Una vez que el maguey llega a su madurez, que oscila entre los 8, 10, 12 y hasta 14 años, dependiendo de la variedad, como el caso del ayoteco y del chalqueño, que son variedades que, que duran entre 10, 12 y hasta 14 años, dependiendo del terreno, de la precipitación plural y, y muchos factores, es cuando las familias que, pues, que nos dedicamos a hacer pulque intervenimos. Pulque is white with a somewhat viscous consistency. It has several nutrients enjoyed by many today. In the pre-Hispanic period, it was considered sacred and was drunk only by kings and priests. The drink was first made in Mexico's central high plateau region and is made by fermenting the sap known as aguamiel. After leaving the maguey plant sterilized for up to eight months, it is scraped in order to extract the sap which is then fermented to obtain the drink which contains nutritional and medicinal properties. Esos elementos importantes que les menciono, que contiene el agua miel, son, eh, entre algunos es fósforo, calcio, hierro, boro, zinc, tiamina, nicina, riboflavina, ácido ascórbico, ácido fólico y un sinfín de elementos bien importantes para, para, para el beneficio humano. Para por eso el pulque es una, eh, es una bebida con, mucho, con muchas propiedades alimenticias. The San Isidro Maguey Ranch in the central state of Tlaxcala has 44 hectares of land and is one of the country's biggest pulque producers. The ranch sells fresh pulque and also packages it in cans for export. The maguey doesn't just give sap to make pulque. The plant is also used to make fabric, bread, sweets and liqueurs. With information by Veronica Torres Lizama and images by Raúl Monroy, Notimex.